Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is the Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to more RimWorld. So yeah, we're uh, chugging along here, trying to get things uh, plotted out and planned out. So we're actually going to probably change up how we've got our base organized just a little bit here, but uh, things seem to be pretty good here. We just need to, I just need to check something here, it's all the way out to here about it seems, yeah here. So, out to here, we can't really build anything inside of our little uh, place here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to mark that off and we're going to mine there. Uh, and the reason is that uh, we've got Thin Roof in certain other places there. Uh, we've recruited, recruited Emmy. The first thing we really need to do with this person is probably get her some clothes, but I don't really know how to do that. So, yeah. She's apparently a better cook than Severin, though. So, Severin, you're off the job. Um... Yeah, I think there used to be a TV show called Naked Chef, but uh, I don't think that was quite the same circumstances. We're going to keep turn find me, uh, cook find meal turn on indefinitely, so those are going to start happening a little bit here. And people are going to continue on with their little uh, lives, doing whatever the hell it is that they do around in this sort of town. And that is going to be fine. That means that I should probably put Severin on some other jobs here as well. Uh, looks like Emmy is also best at recruiting Tide for best, along with Herbie. Um... I'm going to turn off Warden for her so that Herbie's always doing it, and that way he'll sort of always be the one who is uh, off duty while uh, meals are getting cooked. So I kind of want like one person doing that and the other person doing the other. So uh, yeah, that was kind of a nice thing to start off on really quickly there. So we're going to have to get Severin though to do some other crap though. Uh, he's really bad at everything. You're an awful person Severin. Let's get you on plant cutting, cleaning, and uh, that should be good for now, I think. Okay, perfect. And uh, let's zone everything as our house that we want to actually be using for that. I think that, I'm pretty sure that if we uh, don't zone an area as a uh, home zone and we don't have anything built there, they aren't going to bomb it when it comes down to that later. But uh, I'm not 100% sure about how that works there, so whatever. Okay, either way though, uh, we need some more rooms cleared out here. Let's extend this hallway out this way. We'll want uh, more rooms. And I do need another bed, actually, in case someone else shows up. We've got that bed for Emmy over there that we were just assuming was going to go into use. Uh, because, you know, um, just kind of figured that was going to happen. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut our way through some more of this stuff here. And uh, turn on the faster speed, because this is really damn slow. Uh, Severin, it would be nice if he would level up in mining, because he is a really a trash miner. Okay, also what we need to do, we need to haul this shit out of here so that people can walk freely through this area and uh, that's going to be quite important actually um yeah so that should be going on right now yeah because they people walk a lot slower when they walk over that sort of stuff so this is going to be quite a bit better now okay technically speaking i probably should not have queued up that metal so i'm going to cancel that for the next day and uh like i know that there's metal there if we need it we've got it and that'll be fine but for now, I would like it for my guys to just sort of quickly uh, get all that stuff going. Since we've got a fourth person now, I'm going to get a uh, security thing put down. The reason that we're doing this is that uh, it would be kind of a good idea to have that in case we get invaded. The reason being that normally if I got invaded, um, I would have a like just three people. I think that the waves come in like based on how large your colony is though. So. Uh, having that extra person means that they're going to come in with a bigger wave to attack us with, and uh, that could very well turn unpleasant. So I'm going to do that so that we've got a slightly better situation uh, going for that. And uh, this way, like, uh, if they do come in with a bigger wave, we can defeat it. What I would love is if, like, you could shoot varmints or something like that with these guys. Okay, um, hopefully they'll pick up that, those rocks as well. Um, okay, we've got enough that we can start plotting out another little house here so we want a one thick wall let's go with uh about that big there we go and uh we're going to turn emmy off of mining since uh we kind of need someone on perpetual cook actually no because uh like she can do mining and uh she'll probably prioritize food over that when uh that it becomes necessary i think i hope so that should be okay and we need to actually mine out this other strip here as well so we're going to go ahead and do that now, and then we're going to be able to put in the wall over here, so uh, that should be fine. Yeah, and everyone's just getting in on that sort of uh, nice action there. Let's uh, cook a few more meals. We've got a group of pirates. Jump to location. By group of pirates, they mean Blair, who is a quack. Um, maybe we can take his clothes. He's got a button-down shirt and a pistol. He's not wearing any pants. He's been shot a few times. 
Um, he's decided that it's a good idea to mess with an entire colony of people uh, when you've got nothing but a button-down shirt and a pistol and uh, are probably going to die a terrible death from your bleeding wounds that you've already got. Uh, we're going to go ahead and expand our zone for the dumping stockpile here. The reason being that we've got all these rocks that are coming out there that are getting kind of in the way. So uh, we do want to get those out of there. And uh, we've now got enough space here that I can add in this metal wall here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that out to here at the very least. We're going to furniture and uh, we're going to put in the bed there. So that's going to be fine. Okay, so um, he's beginning his assault. Um, he's got a long way to walk though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my people rest up a bit. And um, now that he's a bit closer, I'm going to go ahead and uh, draft all my people and just put them out here, except for Emmy, who I'm going to let sleep. Uh, Emmy, you don't have a gun, so you're undrafted. Okay. I think it's kind of hilarious that he's shooting at that thing. Oh, we captured him. Okay, well, I guess we can't give our... Um, yeah, we're going to capture him, and we're going to get these two undrafted. Actually, we're going to undraft you and then uh, capture him. So there we go. Uh, we can't strip him because, like, he'll also need clothes, but we can take his gun, and that should be fine. Um, we're eventually going to have, like, a deficit in guns, which means that we're kind of going to need to do something about that. Um, okay, so those guys being friendly. Uh, Emmy, you're going to need a pistol, so that's going to be fine. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. We'll zone ourselves up to, um, let's see here. We want to make sure that we've got a home region around the gun. Yeah, we have. Okay, so you, prisoner, we're going to try and recruit you, and we're going to friendly chat with you. Uh, we're going to have to move him in the cave system pretty soon. The reason being that if we don't move people that we've uh, captured into the caves, um, you're going to have visitors come by, and they're going to try and break down the door when they realize Blair is in there. And they're going to be like, Blair, we've come for you, and we know you're hiding him, and then they'll try and kill him. So they'll just break into our little uh, prison cell over there, and they'll murder Blair uh, before we can recruit him to our cause. Once he's joined us, uh, he's joined us, and they'll stop trying to kill him. But until then, uh, they really hate Blair, and they'll try and murder the shit out of him. So, you know, not the best situation. Uh, we're going to have to do another hall order. And uh, we're going to go ahead and delete one person's bed, because it's getting really too damn crowded in there. Uh, so we'll deconstruct that bed. And that's fine. All right. And uh, one person, Snappy, gets to sleep in the king-size bed in the middle of the godforsaken cave. Lovely. Okay. Uh, we're going to order the structures. And uh, actually, no, we still can't. Uh, we can add this door here, which is going to be a very peculiar door since it doesn't really properly connect to anything. But it's still required to get the hell out of there. So that's going to be a thing. Okay, we're going to haul order these things because we need those out of the way. And uh, thankfully they've gotten rid of those things, so that should be fine now. And then we'll furnish with another bed here. There we go. Lovely, lovely. We still won't be able to string electricity into there for a little while, but... Oh crap. Uh, bills, bills, bills. Let's get like 12 meals done, I guess. I forgot that we were also feeding uh, Irby over here, so... Or Blair, I mean, so... Need a lot more food, and we're going to have to uh, prioritize that for Amy, I think, uh, for the next day, but... Uh, you know, that's fine. Looks like we're also harvesting some potatoes, so everything's okay. It's fine, guys. We're okay. Um, you know, this guy, Irby, is just, like, sleeping with some agave plant on his crotch there. Um, which I'm assuming is because it's too warm out and it's nice and cooling or something. I don't really know. Alright, so people are still eating, like, raw food off the ground, which is bad for their health, and it's, uh, bad for their, um... Like, they get unhappy when they're doing that, but it won't be as bad as, like, Cannibal Town. Um, that was pretty... That was pretty hilarious, actually, how bad it got for, uh, those guys. But, uh, yeah, we should be able to get some meals churned out by Amy over here, uh, who is still not wearing any clothes, and, um, who we probably should find some pants for. But, you know, whatever. If, uh, she's happy that way, I guess? I don't know. Um... Let's just get that up there. Okay, and uh, that's going along pretty well, so let's go ahead and we can uh, structure metal wall out to here, I think, and then we'll just a uh, wooden door there to make sure that we can get in and out of there. Perfect, that's fine. Okay. 
And then uh, let's mine out this area as well so that we've got that. And then let's uh, zone in this area. That's uh, six, I think. Ah, oh, son of a bit. I hate the phone. I wish that, like, Alexander Graham Bell just, like, disappeared from history and had never done anything that he had ever done. It's just, like, really annoying phones. Ugh. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're just uh, on track to do exactly what we've been doing, so, uh, you know, not bad. I've completely derailed my train of thought at this point in time, so yeah. Um, we need to sort of make sure that our... Uh, oh, crap, not again. Okay, well, let's uh, see what they've... Oh, wow, three of them this time. And one of them's Buddha. Well, they always say that if you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him, so... Uh, I think that that is apropos to the situation that we find ourselves in right now. Now, they might actually try to rescue Blair over here, so we do have to watch out for that. Oh, damn it. I was hoping that they'd wait until the day, um, because if they come in at night like this, uh, our thing is going to be down. Okay, let's uh, head on over back here, I think. Let's head up here, actually. Yeah, they're, they're just going to shoot that thing. I don't really care if that gets destroyed, but... Uh, Let's get Irby over here, who's... or who has the... is it Snappy? It's Snappy, isn't it? Shit. Well, okay. Here's the thing. We can get everybody sort of behind our gun turret back here like this. Um, and that will... like, the gun turret is just gonna sit there and draw aggro for us. Uh, and all our guys with pistols should be able to fire back at them. Emmy, you better be able to fire back at them. You not, are you one of those people that can't fire a gun? Oh, good. Daytime. Fortunate. Okay, Emmy. Just just shoot the guy. Nope, she cannot fight. Okay, lovely. Well, that's fantastic. I guess we'll give the gun to Blair later on, but uh, yeah, certain classes can't fight, and I guess uh, Emmy is one of those classes. The other one is Empath, and I see those quite commonly. Um, you guys get up here a little bit. It's a little bit too close to the gun, I think, so I'm going to head on over here. Yep, and there it goes. Okay, so let's uh, get everybody just back onto their normal schedules. Um, okay, so you and you just... Your corpses can uh, litter the field here. That's perfectly fine by me. And we've finished cooking simple meals. We're going to have to cook some more, definitely. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just... Oops, uh, infinite those. We're going to cook like five of these. Uh, also, we need to build some graves this time. Since we're not doing the same thing we did last time, um, we're not going to do anything crazy like that. That would be silly uh, and probably drive everyone insane or something like that. But anyhow, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and uh, try and get those guys back on their feet a little bit as far as happiness goes because our happiness is definitely our biggest concern right now, or at least I think it's going to be our biggest concern for a little while. And we're going to have to haul those rocks out of there again as well. Constantly just hauling rocks out of there. Okay. And uh, we should also home zone more of that, so... That'll get our floors cleaned over there a little bit. And we need to up-prioritize graves to be important. Yeah, they should be already working. Yep, okay, good. And uh, Emmy, get cooking. That's good. And we've just about got ourselves yet another bedroom hollowed out of this place, but... Uh, oh, wow, the weather here. Rainy thunderstorm. Really bad looking. Okay, we need to also start clipping more plants for food here. So we're going to go ahead and order that. Look at this thunderstorm. Brutal. Oh, crap. I just realized something. Uh, we need to exhume exhume these uh, bodies here. Um, okay, let's just... Uh, can I... Hmm. Cannot haul human corpse. No empty place configured to store it. Damn it. Okay, well... Um, yeah, we kind of buried those guys with their clothes still on, so we didn't get a shirt for any. Um, so she's still running around naked, um, which is not good, but, you know... Oh well. 
I'm sure, like, you don't need clothes, technically. Technically speaking, you can live a functional life without clothes, so I think that that is something that you can definitely get by without. Um, we could roll this passerby for his clothes. That might be a good idea. No, that, that would be evil. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's, uh, hmm. I'm wondering if there is any way for me to exhume these corpses. It seemed like, actually, if I could... Okay, let's try this. And the next day, we should have another sort of uh, grave that we can put someone in. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to put them in that grave and take them out of uh, the one that they're in and just cancel the order so that we drop the corpse there. And then, uh, oops, I need to put a bill in for more simple meals. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so Irby, uh, you're going to go... No, em no empty place, place configured to store it. Damn it. Hmm. Allow buried corpses? Humanoid corpse? Okay, so... Oh, damn it. Okay, so he immediately took him back out of the grave. So how do I do this? Uh, storage... Allow buried corpses. Do not allow buried corpses. Um, and you as well. Let's go with that. And we'll slow things down a little bit. Uh, Irby, get back over there. Prioritize hauling Buddha. Um, okay. And let's get some clothes here. We're going to draft you so that you drop the corpse. We're going to have you go over here. Strip, strip Buddha. Um, good. And somehow this grave is mysteriously filled by something. Okay, you wear a t-shirt. There we go. Okay. Decency. Decency at last. Okay. Uh, you... Okay, well, now we've, got, now we've got a naked dead guy there, so that's also not good. But uh, no trading capacity need batteries. That's fine. We'll, be, we'll, be, we'll live without batteries. Okay, so we've taken all the corpses out of their holes, and we've put them back in. Okay, lovely. A radiation solar flare. So that's going to shut down all our electricity anyway. So the batteries would do nothing. That's fine. Okay, so uh, we can get rid of yet another bed here. Who's living? I need to keep Emmys in here just because uh, I need her to keep cooking meals. And um, that's going to be a little bit important. So that's fine. Uh, let's deconstruct this bed, though. And we can start working on making this a proper room as well. So we'll go like this and we'll add in a simple wooden door to that. There we go. Okay, and I think, well, Severin's still sleeping in anyway, but whatever. Okay, so I think that we're pretty much uh, in a good position now. Like, I think that we're pretty well off. Yeah, are we going to get uh, this guy to join us yet? Nope. All right, well, that's fine. Hopefully uh, our guys are going to be cleared off on jobs for a little bit so that we can get some cleaning done around here. Everyone's willing to do cleaning, right? Yeah, okay, good. So with everyone willing to do cleaning, this place should be sweeped up. Emmy's doing a good job of it uh, already, so that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and order more crop harvesting because uh, we're once again running a bit low on crops. Okay, well, I think we can get a couple of those maybe. Bunch of visitors. Yeah, we're not going to worry about too much about visitors like that. They seem friendly enough. Critical alert. Mental break soon. I think it uh, got fixed, though, whoever was having that problem, so should be okay. And we finally got a little bit of electricity back, so Emmy should be able to start uh, doing cooking now, so hopefully that's what she's going to start doing. Please start doing that. Okay, we've got that guy successfully recruited as well, so we are going to need that extra bed. Uh, you, I need you to get a pistol, though, so. Critical alert. Who's going to have a mental break soon? Irby. Or, hmm. What's his problem? Well, let's check his thoughts. Okay, so. Cramped environment. Urgently hungry. Go eat some food, asshole. 
Okay, so Irby is going to have a mental break. That's fine. Um, Emmy, can you arrest him? No, she can't, because she's a pacifist. Okay, Blair, I need you to be drafted, and you need to go melee attack Irby until uh, we fix that. Okay, and you as well should probably go melee attack Irby. Okay, so we're going to rescue Irby and we're going to undraft you. Actually, we're going to undraft both of you and rescue Irby. So yeah, now he doesn't have his gun, but that's okay. Why the hell did our, where'd all our food go? Huh. Well, that's disturbing. Okay. Well, that explains why he wasn't eating anything, but uh, let's get some orders out here to gather more food. And that is a big-ass fire. That is not good. Okay, well. In any event, we've got another crisis, it looks like, on our hands already. People are going a little bit insane. Irby's had the shit kicked out of him by his friends, who uh, were worried about his mental well-being. And we've got no meals, is that uh, power out that we had for that long period of time. So we're going to have to definitely start scrounging for food above anything else. Um, I wonder... We're going to have to do a food call order from up here as well, so... We're going to go ahead and do that and try and get back as much food as possible. Um, like... Let's just uh, seriously get everything. Let's see, Irby is still in a bad mental state, but he's in bed, so he can't do shit, so... That's fine. Irby has been, uh, I think, killed by a squirrel. Hmm, lovely. Okay, well, uh, Emmy... You're useless in this situation, you two. We're gonna have to get you out here. Go rescue Irby. First off, actually, uh, is this the crazy one? Eating poverty grass? No. Moving? No, that's not the crazy one. Uh, standing? They all seem to be fine, actually. Where's the, uh, rescue hurry again? Oh, it's because he went on a mental, uh, mental rampage again, so. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so you... Yep, doing whatever else. Herbie, stop going on mental rampages. This is ridiculous. Okay, we finally got some actual meals going, though. That'll help a little bit. Now, uh, we're going to have to expand, I think, our grow zone, so that ought to help a little bit. We'll expand it out all the way to the graves. And we'll have to put in some more orders for harvesting food. Um, like, without anything else... Um, to do, like, our people should definitely be emphasizing that sort of stuff. So, let's go check our overview again, though. Make sure that everybody's willing to do plant cutting. Okay, uh, we'll switch it so that they're all willing to do that. And, uh, actually, let's check growing as well while we're at it. Uh, so, um, snappy, three, three. Okay, let's, uh, make Blair also do that, so that should help out quite a bit. Okay. And uh, yeah, now we've gotten, I think, everything back a real, uh, a little bit under control. Um, things have sort of gone all sorts of crazy here, but that's fine. Like, Irby is back uh, under control, and that's perfectly acceptable. So anyway, uh, that's going to be our episode for today. I hope you found this enjoyable, and of course, as always, I hope to see you all next time. <laughs>